introduce you once again. You may have seen him in, in pre-season, but uh, scoring on his Kettering Town League debut, it's not often that a Kettering player does that, but we have two today. And Joel, welcome once again. Thank you. This is uh, Poppers TV studio, your first time here. Brilliant game of football, fantastic goal. Must have been superb to play in. Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah. From start to finish, everyone right across the team were brilliant. What did you think when you went a goal down? I knew that we was creating chances, so I knew that we didn't have to panic. But obviously, when you're a goal down, you sort of, it's in the back of your mind a little bit. But everyone stuck together. Even when we went 10 men, we looked like we was going to nick one. And then you got the, the equaliser in the second half. Must have been superb for you. Yeah, it was good. It was a good feeling. Very good feeling. The crowd that. and the shouting must have been <laughs> yeah. really behind you. Because the tin out end, it must have been a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. I don't think without all the fans and shouting like that, I don't think we'd have been able to have done, that, done what we did. Still, I think they played the part then, yeah? Definitely. Your views are on uh, Sam Cartwright's red card and Paul White's uh, magical save? Uh, Cart's is a red card. You think so? I mean, I don't think it was a red card. I mean, he's always going to, any, any touch from the striker, he's going to go down, but the ref's got to know that. Um, but obviously, White has pulled, it out, pulled him out. Of the... Great save, wasn't it? I mean, we've seen Paul White year after year pull off for decent saves, and uh, but that one was, that was and, and the pressure that yeah. was under him behind the Telford fans. Yeah, yeah. Must have given you guys uh, one hell of a lift. Of course it did, yeah. Great. It was a great save, and then obviously you could see it gave us a lift because we went on, went on to win. And then uh, Empty comes on and gets the winner with 10 men. It must have been great. I, mean, I know you're watching it then from the um, from the dugout, but you know, I saw everyone celebrating there. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Good finish by him. Linden did brilliant to hold the ball up. He had about four or five men around him, and then... Limited. Looking at our subs that we've got to call on, it's fantastic this season. I mean, you know, you didn't bring on Hodge, we didn't bring on Sulkin or Luke Graham. You know, we've brought on uh, Stora and Kelly. Kelly made a difference, didn't he, when he came on? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, yeah. I mean, throughout, throughout this season, it's a long season, so you've got to have a bit of depth within the squad. How have you felt the standard? I mean, you were at Corbett last season. We touched on it at uh, Barwell, I think it was, but how do you think uh, the standard is? I mean, people have asked me how I think we're going to get on this season. I don't know, because this is a different league for me than the one we saw years ago. You've obviously played at Corbett last season, which is two divisions lower now, isn't it, than, than this one. How do you find the standard today? Um, I think the standard in football gets slightly better, gets a little bit more physical. Um, but I'm the same as you, so I've not played them really, apart from today. Um, but from today, I think that we can definitely do well this season. What's the dressing room like at the moment? Buzzing. <laughs> Everyone's shouting their heads off. <laughs> but, uh, it was great. I mean, the, it, it said we had 959 fans here when that goal went in. I think we almost fell off the top of the gantry like we do. With us, we, although we are uh, supposed to be impartial, we're not. And <laughs> it was great. Now we go on to Kings Lynn on Tuesday. Not a lot of time to rest, recover, etc. It's going to be a very tough battle against another very good side. They were uh, promoted with us last season. Battles between them have always been very, very difficult. Um, how do you think we'll approach that? Much the same. So we just, just got to do exactly the same as what we did today. Just everyone's got to work hard, stick together, and I'm sure we'll do okay. Okay, Joel, thank you very much uh, for that. I know that it's very warm in here, isn't it? As, uh, as you it can see, it? you wait till January when you come in, it'll be the opposite. But uh, brilliant, fantastic goal, fantastic result. Uh, couldn't ask for a better start to no. uh, a season. And uh, well done. Thank you very much. See you on a Tuesday at uh, Kings Lear. Yeah. Understatement, wasn't it? To go 1 0 down, get back to level terms. Have one sent off, controversially, in my opinion. I'll get your views on that in a few moments. Brilliant penalty save from uh, Paul White to keep us in the game. And then uh, Nitty to Enti to go on there and score the vital goal. We only need 10 men. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure about that, Cookie, but um, you know, I, th I thought the, the first half quite even. You know, uh, Telford, good, good team, Telford. Um, you know, I fully expect them to be up there again. Um, and it, it's a good gauge for us now. Um, but I just felt the first half were quite even, but I felt we were just maybe nicking it a little bit, you know, in terms of chances created, and I was quite, quite happy with our, um, you know, the midfield area, you know, I think I think we were just just slightly getting on top, and then, you know, they get scored a free kick, so it's not something that they've opened us up with. Um, good free kick though, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 good, good quality, you know, you can't, you know, you can't much about them once he's hit it. Um, half time, I just said to the lads, you know, you've got to keep, I said, if you believe you can get something out of the game, you will, if... You keep you keep the work rate and you don't get disheartened by you know being a goal down. Um, you know if we could have scored early on, that'd been great. But I said one thing I'll always ask of my team is that never give up and they keep going right to the end. You know no matter what the score is, you keep going because football's like that. You know and uh, you said in your program that didn't you or to me also uh, in, uh, last week that you say you want from your team never to give up, never to 
give up trying to win a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we'll, we'll go into every game trying to win it. You know, I'm not saying that we, we're going to, but I think you've got. To, I'm not one that's going to set up not to get B and just you know concede possession. And um, so I think we've got better players than that. Um, you know, I've been really really impressed with the lads. But the main thing for me is um, it's the work rate and, the, and it's the willingness to work hard. You know, you it don't you get you get some lads and it's like pulling teeth trying to get them to close down. But these lads will do it. They've done everything I've asked of them um, since I came in. Um, you know, and listen, I wouldn't have you couldn't have wrote that script. You know that, that had everything, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you're thinking red card and you're down to ten men. I'm thinking if, if he scores this, but it's just going to be a case of hanging on in there and see if he can nick something to nick a point out of the game. But Whitey pulls that save off, which is. You sometimes needs things like that to, to win your game. Marcus Kelly came on made a difference, didn't it, as well? It seemed to open up a little bit when Kelly came on. Yeah, well, he's got, I mean, he's a good player, Marcus. I mean, the, probably one of the reasons he didn't start because he's not had much game time pre season. Um, but I, I know how good he is. Um, you know, I, I put him on because I felt that, you know, their right winger was, uh, you know, Brights had got his hands full with him, put him on to help Brights well, out a little Chris bit. Lead, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good player, you know, quick, big lad. Um, you know, but Max, it gives you legs. You know, he can he can run. He's got pace. and he's got quality. You know, so he's just a good player. So six uh, debutees today all do well, didn't they? Yeah, um, you know, I've, you know that's why I've, Carter scored his first goal debut. Nt with his first goal. Kennedy outstanding again, wasn't he? Can't yeah. Try, <coughs> views on can't try to send enough. I did ask Joel Carter about it. What do you think? Um, I mean, we were right in right in line with him. I think he has made contact. You know, I think. The lads obviously made a meal. Made the most of it, which you you would do, you know. If I, if one of our lads did that, and when we scored from the pen, I've no. But the know. bookings are a bit, you know, harsh, aren't they? I felt that, you know, I'm Brighton especially. Yeah, I think well, one of their lads got booked for a block, and you're thinking, if that's a yellow, there's going to exactly. be a lot, lot of yellows. Well, we on commentary, game. it's going to be a, a season of yellow cards yeah, and, yeah. and red. Yeah, but, I uh, think you know we're not listen, we're not Premier League. It's I think you're going to get that at this level, and I think refs might be. Well, you'd hope that would be, be a bit more lenient, you know, as to when they show the first yellow of the game. But overall, impressive, wasn't it? It was a, a great game to watch. I mean, I almost lost my voice and nearly fell off the gantry when we scored the winner. I mean, how were you down there when that went in? Oh, well, you know, I don't get too excited about it much. But, you, know, <laughs> you do if Brett Barnes around, don't you? Yeah, well, I, th- I think Brett was the only one not in the dressing room. I think Brett was doing his own personal lap of honour. <laughs> he didn't come on. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, that's great. We got uh, Kings Lynn on Tuesday. Not a lot of time to recover from from this, but uh, it would be a difficult game as well. They always are against Kings Lynn, yeah. major rivals, but I mm. um, don't know how they got on today. But I think don't, beat, I think. Have they? Oh, what a shame. Isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a tough one there, isn't it, as well? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, I think at this level it's always tough, like your Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday games. You know, it's. Um, but luckily, Touchwood, we've got a uh, fully fit squad to pick from. You know. So you're happy with what you're seeing today? Yeah, yeah, I've got a bit. There's, there's little bits, but you yeah. know, if, at this level, if, if players weren't making mistakes or weren't making the wrong wouldn't decisions, here, they wouldn't be here. So, no. you know, you have to accept it. And that's why, you know, you can. I mean, there's one thing that you can't uh, be stopped from doing, that's working hard. So yeah. if, they, if they give me that, you know, it's, you take the rough with the small sometimes. Again, a brilliant to start to the season. Brilliant for you with your yeah. your first win for Kettering manager and, yeah. and Kettering. Good start to the season. Might resign now. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Might resign. Again, <laughs> okay, thank you very much for coming in.